hey guys and welcome to friday night at the house it's your favorite jordan Moore, and i am your host for the day and i am with the <laughs> I don't it's, know, why is he laughing? Why are you laughing? It's the vanity for why, me. What, 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 why are you every laughing? time, every time you, anything. every time you call your name, you always just feel yourself. You're just like it's Jordan Amore. I don't understand what the problem. It's is. a beautiful like, thing. I'm I not, I'm not judging every you, single girl. Thing, I'm good. vain. I'm vain. I'm vain. I'm vain. Why are you That's... bringing? Why are you bringing our business to the public? Let's move on with the show. We'll talk about that later. Uh-huh. Yeah, introduce me, please. Thank you. This talkative on my immediate. Is this my left or my right? On my immediate left. Uh, look at this. <laughs> on my immediate left is Moyo Lagos. Thank so you. I, I don't know why he sounds like a restaurant, but yes, he's he's Moyo Lagos. So he's here. To, should now I, should I, should I tell you a very stupid I, idea. I, you oh, did, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Let me tell God. you why I I sound like a restaurant because I serve it like it's hot. That's why, why are we bringing our personal business here? Now let's continue with the shoot. All right, go ahead. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> The topic of the day basically a few days ago there was a 12 year old girl who killed her cousin over an iphone yeah the cousin was eight years old and um that's why it begs the question are children really as innocent as we think they are what do you think first of all <laughs> people are going to come at me but i'm not exactly the most fond of children you know how some people just say children are little demons sometimes because children can be very stressful <laughs> i mean i love kids i love my nephews and and stuff like that but they're only fun for like the first five minutes after five minutes they are running all over the place and they're doing all of that do you want kids do i want kids i think i do but just of, just like just one i think i do you know but that's the thing you know children they are very impulsive sometimes Right, they do stuff without really thinking Reasoning it through. It. Exactly, they do stuff without really thinking it through, and it can go either way from innocent to guilty to violent. Maybe they're smashing stuff out of anger. It's it's because, and I think it's because their personality hasn't fully formed, so they can be very erratic with their behavior. So saying that children are innocent, I don't think that that's that's an apt idea for children because you you see children that that would burn down. I mean, we're still talking about it. That would just light fire and burn down stuff. The supermarkets in Lekki that got burned down a few years ago, it was a child that did it. Yeah. You know, obviously he didn't mean to do it, but sometimes she, she, she was she, a girl. it was a girl. Yeah. Okay. Obviously she didn't mean to do it, but sometimes as a kid you just get you're very impulsive and you just see something and you just want to do it. Adults now, because of our growth, we know better, right? So it's a dicey thing, especially for this situation where they killed, where the girl killed her cousin. Like, can we hundred percent blame a twelve-year-old? In fact, let me even ask you: Do you think that a twelve-year-old really knows what they are doing in a situation? I feel like, like as if like you should never put it above a kid to not know what they are doing because hmm. they are bullies in primary school. So I'm just like kids definitely know what they are doing to an extent, but let's just say that they don't think about it too much. They're just like, okay, I'm gonna do this, yeah, or this is gonna happen, and they don't think about what's gonna happen after. And even if they do, most of them don't care. Mm. do you feel me so i'm just like like i feel like i said this can genuinely go in multiple ways like yes you need to ask some questions about the parents you need to ask some questions yeah. about about um what the what the kid watches because yeah. there, are mo- there are really a lot of times whereby like the child could be brought up properly but then it's because of the things that they watch so external influences external influences yeah. it could be that it could be the people that they stay around maybe they have an older sibling that is very violent that is into gang mm. and things like that or that they have older friends or in the neighborhood that they hang around that they see doing different things and yeah. doing that it could be that it could also be like oh what if i just yeah. what's gonna happen yeah <laughs> do you feel so me? Like, did so, you said you said you said it could also be a mental thing it could also be a mental thing. Fair, I'm not saying that enough. they may be mentally ill, yeah. even though you can name it that, but it could just be like like ADHD, but then like seriously extreme. Like, over, ooh, over ooh, ooh, what if I do this? Like what if I do this? Do you feel yeah, me? So fair, like, it's fair, just, fair, and then fair. when they now realize the consequences of their actions, they're just like, it's too late. Oh my gosh. It's too late, Abby. Oh <laughs> my gosh. But but you know, here's the thing. Like here's the thing. Like I I I sit here as like imagining I was a parent. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking to myself, those parents would be like, where did we go wrong? Yeah. Right? Where yeah. 
Where did we go wrong? What yeah. could we have done better? That actually reminds me of the Bimbo Ademoye movie. Yeah, yeah. Because like I watched it recently, the Shining Star movie, and like the when the mom walked into his room to like clean, even though I'm surprised why you do not you don't clean walk into your son's room to clean every single day but then again he's like 12 years old she goes to and cleans himself yeah. so she noticed that the child was not eating properly was sad all the time was shouting my friend my friend my friend my friend and like she did not really like go in depth into that thing but then even though as a normal typical mother just like i said your child does not want to go to school yeah so at the same time i don't necessarily blame her but then imagine you just walking into your kid's room and then you see your neighbor's child on covered in a duvet Ooh. Do you feel me? Damn. So she was just like I could literally see. Thank God for good actors. So she's a very good actress. Like you could literally Is see. It bimbo? The, no, it was not Bimbo. Okay. The, actually, the, the, do, the do, you know the daughter died. So the mom of the daughter is Bimbo. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Please. So so you could actually on the mother of the of the killer's child, like eh, on the mother of the killer. Yes, you could actually see that you were like, <laughs> where did I go wrong? Like what happened? Yeah. Like ha! Ah, like she was just like. E, are you, like you, you like, like, like you know when you're speaking like what like, is this really how do we handle this like and then like you now see when the school bus drops the sun the sun mm. enters the this and she's just sitting down on the staircase looking up at the sky just just because what do you want to do what do you want to say how do you how handle do you, that how situation do you want, how 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 can i ask you a question uh-huh. god forbid do. god forbid hey for, oh yeah hey, wait hey, now hey, wait hey. but hey, wait hey. Oh. Wait no, now. Don't play with okay, me. Okay, God forbid. Stop. Say your say the enemy. Not okay, me. God forbid. The say enemy. Your enemy. The enemy. Okay, say the enemy. The enemy. Okay, say the enemy's even, child. Even my own enemy. I don't wish that on them. To be fair, say the enemy's child mm. killed another person's child, mm. right? Mm-hmm. But you have said that ah, I will protect my enemy's child, and it's your decision. Would you help that enemy's child to hide the body, or would you report the child to the police? <laughs> not gonna lie it depends on where i am what do you mean it depends on where you are it depends on where i am what does that mean it depends on where i am it and um, depends on how much money i have mm. because i tell you that where i am who i am my position like as a normal parent that i see that my child went wrong like the thing is that i don't feel bad for the lady because it's not something she could have told her, her husband. But anyways, let, before we go there, let's talk about me. <laughs> See, I pray by the grace of God. In fact, it is stamped in my yeah. destiny, amen, that I'm going to have the kind of husband that I'm able to tell that kind of rubbish to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell that child that you, first of all, you are very stupid for hiding it under the duvet. Hmm. I'm thinking that, like, what if the mo- the mom just decided to 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 go upstairs into our house? Mom be, would neighbors. have been caught. She be their neighbors now. She be their neighbors now. Mm-hmm. Mom would have been caught like that. First of all, you're very dumb. <laughs> you <have> been... <laughs> so you're saying if you want to even do something like do it well. Do it well. If you go do bad things, do it oh, well. No, 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 no. <laughs> See that kind of thing. Eh? Don't get me wrong. I'll feel bad for the child. Ah, I'll feel bad for the child. I'll just be like shit. But they just mean that you don't implicate our family like that. Mm. Not my family, you do that same, but the enemy's family. Don't implicate the enemy's family. So I'm just going to be like, first of all, I'm going to go and meet my husband. Yo, we have an issue on ground. Do we go the highway or the basement way? Mm. Which way do we go? We we listen, we list our pros and cons. Uh, is our child going to is our child going to go to jail? Are we going to go to are we yeah. going to like what do we have at stake here? Yeah. If the pros outweigh the cons, Omar. <sighs> jo, you know what? I will report to the police say that oh man, this that this that this that this that child don't know what they were doing. If it was that the cons away the pros, I'm gonna hide our body, but gonna burn it. You know, for me, eh, gonna it, burn it. For me, burn the heck out of that body. Would you, Nobody will would see you use, uh, What they call that? A hydroglyceride or something to burn the. Don't worry. God forbid, we don't need to know all of mm-hmm. that information. Mm-hmm. But generally speaking, I've had a conversation with somebody where we were like, if your son, there's proof that your son raped somebody, right? Would you report your son to the police? Ah, I and, would report. And I, yeah, report. I would, I, honestly, I would report that, right? But murder, I feel like generally, you go, go get us a bill. You go get, you go get us a bill. Let's not lie. <laughs> yeah, because generally, cause, because I would say that I want to do the right thing and tell the police yes, because that's exactly, how I, that's how I like exactly, to live my life. Exactly. 
but ah, my twelve-year-old child with so much life ahead. Ahead of them. Ahead, and then like if it's that when you are young, when you you are older, and you mm. don't want to carry that body anymore. You say that okay, you know what I'm going to do? Is that fine? That's your own decision. Me, I'm in another country, sure. <laughs> but then, but then that's your own thing to do. But then me, I'm going to make sure that your life is ahead of you first. That you understand what you just did. Yeah. If when you're older, you want to go to the police and say that, okay, this, this, that happened. Because don't get me wrong, I'm going to be like justice for that child because I'm going to feel bad for exactly. that parent. Exactly. Uh, guys, is that, exactly. it's probably that guilt that will eat me. Also, the fact, that, uh, the fact that you, the, the parents just lost their child and uh, they don't even have a body to bury. Yes, yes. Do you get yes. how, like, that is going to... But then, to be real, to be real, yeah. I'm sorry for cutting off again, to be real, if it's that the parent is my close friend, mm, uh, no, that one I will tell them. I don't know. If if is that if I, I if is that know. I do not if is that the parents is just a random neighbor or something. I, I I definitely believe in the in the fact that oh every parent deserves to know what happened to that child. Don't get me wrong. But if it's somebody that was close to me as but like let's say because me I don't know about you but I'm planning to get pregnant with my best friend at the same time. But we're going to have kids together and going to be like as if they are twins. What is all this? Shh, what? Shh, shh. what if your what if your kidney did not sink? <laughs> the over ovary stuff. <laughs> Bro, like, I was, they were confident that pregnant in a month now. Maybe the child would be one or two months older than them. But then that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. You just so have saying, to be close. Yeah, they just have to okay, be close. Fair. So I'm saying that, that like, I would definitely tell my child because I'm like, that child is basically my child. Do you understand? That True. child is basically my child. But if it's just, like, a random neighbor, I just met it, like, two years ago. What's it concerned me? I'm so sorry. I, that's I, so heartless. I, I know that's so heartless. And don't get me wrong. I'm like, bro, people deserve the truth and everything yeah. about their kids. But I'm just like... The, the truth about life is that when you love people, you are selfish. And I'm like, I cannot, I, I cannot, I'm uh, selfish uh, to my child. James, I cannot, I cannot James, just, James, yeah. I cannot just let that happen to my child because I want your own clarity. Do you feel me? Mm. I understand that and, and my heart goes out to you, but then the fact still stands is that my family comes first. Fair enough. I, my I, family comes I, first. I kind of, I kind of agree, but I think it's until, God forbid, but if, God forbid. if, and it's also in the way the child I, killed the family, if it's a mistake, and hey, I'll help you and hide it, but if you did <laughs> this, if, let me tell you something, if, if the you, child, oh, if the child did it, I, we are going to police, so before you do it to me. God, I, Exactly before my you, point. Please, Even before you please, do it to me, please, before I you do it you. to other people. Because, bro, it's one, it's one thing if you need it. I was just like, mom, I just wanted to do something to that child. Like, why would you do that thing? And I just pushed him. And I, and I was happy when... Boy, you, you need what? to be in an asylum. You not in this house. Straight to the Take, mental facility. To Yaba we left. pray over you. We are going to Yaba left. Anointing oil. We are going to Yaba left. Straight. Because, straight. Because I don't... Here's the thing, right? What? If it's something that was premeditated, there's, it's very likely that at 12 they did it premeditated, they mm. will do it again. You will not grow up to be some, you will not be killing people's children. God forbid. Alone, my Jay, God I just, forbid. To everybody watching, if you're about to have a child, I say this prayer to you. God will not let your child bring unfortunate situations to your Amen. doorstep. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Because, Amen. Because, honestly, it's it's such a, a horrible thing and, and I think we would love to hear what people have to say. If To say now your child. If it was your child in that kind of situation, God forbid, mm. right? Mm. What would be your next step? Would you report to the police? Would you hide the body with your baby, which for your child, and protect the child? Where, where, where do we go next? And no, also, you know who... one thing that I found very, very honorable yeah. in the movie that Bimba Demoyer did. Even though the child killed the the other child by a mistake, mm. but then the mother, the mother actually took the blame, and she went to jail. On behalf of the child, so like the mom was literally screaming, screaming at the mother, like, Oh, like the child, the girl's mom, they screamed, like, ah, How could you kill my child? And I can't ask you, I can't ask she you. Leave my, was she dragging her? She should leave her clothes. It was a mistake. No, she she not be, it's her. not, like, like it's people not, people were stopping her. People were stopping her. Is it us that said that her child should not eat well? Is it not a um, kidney? Sorry, I was just joking, but honestly, like. Chill. That, that was no fault. I was just joking. Sorry that about was, that. that oh, it's so hot in here. Everybody's so tense. This is what... AC is blowing this directly what, on top of your head. The I know, but it's the energy. But this is what is a conversation like this, you know, brings. It's because there's no way as a human being you want to put yourself in that kind of situation mm -hmm. that what happens next? What do we and do please, next? By the grace of like God, I really hope that our children really do not do these things because now this video has become evident. Yeah. They will just dig it up and say... 27 years ago on the, what's today's date on blah, 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 so, so, mm. so, 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 you said if your child ever kills another person that you would cover up for them. What's to say that you did not do it now? Hmm. <laughs> God forbid. Oh. God actually, God actually <laughs> God forbid. forbid. God actually forbid. Right. I beg. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> um, it now begs the question. Yeah. Well, let me not say begs the question. It's something that we're just going to like talk about now. Like, 
to the real families that this has actually happened like you realize that your kid your 10 to 15 year old kid actually killed a person like personally to me the first thing i will actually want to ask is that what kind of home is that kid living in do they think that violence is a normal thing do they think that it was okay yeah they would like 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 it's it's actually something that we need to think about in society so we will know how to prevent situations like this because should being that this actually happens forget jokes forget lamba forget yeah. all of the what if what if what if these are things that actually happen so it's a matter of like like what would you advise parents what would you advise people like how would we prevent this from happening you know i like that earlier when we were talking about it you said you know there are external factors mm -hmm. there are also mm -hmm. internal factors like mm -hmm. what's happening on the home front mm -hmm. and also what the kid is consuming so say on the home front i do believe that parents need to be very mindful of their kids and what they do around their kids mm. if you are if, if if it's a child that grew up in a home if the child that grew up in a home where you know the father is always beating the mother mm. any smart thing maybe food is not ready food is uh, slapping the mother you know the obviously the likelihood of that child exactly and, and you, you know how kids are it's not what they but are told they it's what they do it's what they see sorry mm -hmm. it's what they see you doing and not what you tell them to do yeah. that they make if i should tell you touch your nose and i touch my ear the child will touch his ear even though i said Thinking nose. That the ear is the nose. do you understand so parents have to be very mindful how they conduct themselves around their kids the kids must know that in this family violence is never the answer yeah. right we talk things out yeah. and also the kind of things that they they consume a 12 year old who is on the internet and there's no child protection there's no child uh, safety on the internet they're consuming so many like content it's that it's above even, their age i feel like i said it's genuinely not even just about like not consuming da, 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 or blah 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 i feel like it's it's in the sense that that you see most of these children mm. like even all of these batman and things like this that you watch like excuse me yeah. a child could literally be watching Teletubbies, and then you still have that kind of of tendency. Do you feel me? Uh, that one, so I'm that just, one is possessed. <laughs> that one, I don't want to say it's possession, <laughs> but don't get me wrong when I say that the, yeah. uh, the the looking at the internet factors and everything could could make them do that. But I'm just like we should not also forget that 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 should not be the only thing because the truth being that if they now don't see those things or if they they cannot watch in the first place, they will not go and watch it with other people. And that one save day. So I'm just like like. Just find a way to like make it balance. Exactly. So yeah. we have to do the bare minimum yeah. on our own part, right? You know, some people will do what they want to do. Yeah. But it should not be an indictment on us. It should not be our own fault. Let's do what we can as parents, right? Monitor what your kids consume. Yeah. Also, I don't know why people are always shouting, oh, there is sex there's sexual intercourse inside movies. Our children are watching sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse never killed anybody. I would rather my children watch sexual intercourse than they should be watching people violently murdering other people, personally speaking. If I'm going to be honest. No, no, no. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm forget, going to be real. Let's not forget that it's not only that type of murder that we're trying to avoid. Let's also avoid... Abortion. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Please, I don't, want to, I don't want to go near that topic. I beg. Why? I beg, I, I, I beg. Are you I beg, afraid I of abortion? Hmm? Are you afraid of abortion? No, that's why I'm afraid of abortion. But I'm just saying that that's a very sensitive topic. And it's not something that should be taken lightly. <sighs> no, I'm trying to you have understand? fun on the Friday night. Too. But it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> anyway that brings us to the end of the topic and i hope that you guys have understood what you can and what you should do in order to help your children please if something like this happens to them depending on you can go to the police if you want you could bury the, bed, the body if you want genuinely it's up to you and secondly i also want to tell you guys to prevent matters like this so you don't even have to make that kind of hard choice because these are people's children people yeah. conceive them waited nine months and they were they were the bu their bundle of joy so please in order to prevent situations like this please be careful of what you do around your kids be careful of what you say around them be careful of what you take around them be careful of what you watch all around them and all of that and finally i want to also know if you disagree or you agree with us inside the comment section i definitely feel like as people are going to disagree with us on that body thing sharp because me i don't know about you but me i really love my child and i don't see that future spoil and i know that you're like oh that this that is that is that, that but that's just my own personal opinion mm. and genuinely if you find it offensive you vex so i beg <laughs> what do you want me to do honestly <laughs> honestly me i'm even going to sit on the fence on that until i'm god forbid i will never god be in that situation forbid, sharp, but i, I don't know if situation. i can answer that question right now uh, yeah exactly because, exactly hmm. it's just a matter of like off the top of my head and everything but yeah we want to see your comments we want to know what you would do if your child decides to kill another person's nine months whether you 
go to the police, you beat them, you relocate. Goodness knows. Let us know. Just tell us in the comment section and we would love to hear that. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for tuning into the Friday night at the house. We would love to see you more. You can visit housechronicles.com for more information. I am Jordan and this is Moyo Lagos. So sounds like a restaurant. This has been an amazing episode. See you guys next week. Not, not you sneaking that in. Not you sneaking that in. <laughs>